Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon to all my students in Tri Bukhari. I'm so sorry because I can't make it this week because I have to quarantine myself from COVID-19. So I did this video for all of you because um, I don't want you all of you to be lost and left something in English subject. So today we are focusing on reading skills, okay, uh, which is a new topic in topic four, the relationship. Okay, the article for today is dogs in a human world. Okay, the friendship between humans and dogs possibly began 14,000 years ago. Perhaps wild dogs became interested in human rubbish and humans took the puppies of wild dogs and trained them to be obedient pets and helpers. When humans choose the parents of dogs, they can create a wonderful variety of dogs with plenty of talents and many different looks. Here are four examples of a dog's life in a human world. First is food sniffer dog. Jackies is one of member of in Brigade a group of beagles that were at international airports in the United States. Their job is to smell and find illegal fruit, vegetables and other food in luggage and mail. These food sometimes bring insects and diseases which could be dangerous for plants and animals. The beagle comes sit now down next to anything that smells suspicious. The dog's human partner then check for illegal food while beagles why beagles? They are friendly and cute, so they don't scare people and they sniff through the crowds. More importantly, beagles have an astonishing nose for food. The beagles brigade can find food in the food in luggage and packages 84% one of the time. The second example is treated less like a queen. Some dogs live in luxury, chiffy. A lovely metalist is one of these. Her owner, Nancy Jane Lowy, treats her like a queen. She carefully prepares Tiffy's meal of meat, fish, chicken, and a variety of fresh vegetables. Tiffy also eats yogurt and biscuits after dinner. Lowy's husband has a very good job, and her two sons are away at university. So she has the time and money to treat Tiffy extremely well and she truly enjoys doing it. I want to give her healthiest, most wonderful life possible for as long as possible, she says. All right, so let's look at another function. Okay, animal carriers. Okay, Jessie is a weeper that visits very sick children in hospital. She shows them her love and gives her children a chance to exercise. When they feel down, Jessie makes them happy. Jessie helps patients like young Lucas Parks to stay strong during their time in hospital. There are many different kinds of animals that help people. We train service dogs to help people with physical disabilities. The best known service dogs are guides for the blind. But for league friends, perform other roles too. They can learn to open and close doors, turn, on, turn lights on and off, pick up objects from the floor, and even pull the wheelchair. So this is the animal carers. And the last one is doggy detectives. Have you seen this dog before this? Okay. Search and rescue SAR dog use these amazing noses to find people. Hercules and Alcetian can smell tiny clues that people leave wherever they go. These include bacteria, small pieces of clothing and hairs. He has found missing hikers and has searched through rubble after earthquake and other disasters. Sardot must be strong, obedient, athletic and smart. Most of them, they must love to play. Trainers look for dogs that go crazy over a favorite toy, such as a tennis ball. Those dogs will do any job if the reward afterwards is playtime. As workers or pets, dogs are certainly beneficial to humans in many ways. 
they have a special place as man's best friend and this has helped dog to survive in our world. Wolves and wild dogs have nearly disappeared from the earth, but the number of pets and working dogs continues to increase because of their special relationship with humans. So there are four examples of special relationship okay, with the humans. Okay, let's look at the exercises. Okay. Okay, for the exercise B, what sort of work can dogs do? Okay, work in pairs and list as many jobs as you can think in your notebook. Okay, C, read the article about the relationship between humans and dogs. What reason does the writer give the growing number of domestic dogs? Okay, so I want you to answer the question B and C. All right. And then, after you have finished B and C, you continue with D. Read the exam close up, okay? Worrying about new words. When you are reading a text, don't worry about when you see a vocabulary that you don't know. Remember that it isn't necessary for you to understand every word to find the answers to the questions. In your own language, when you see a new word, you can find a meaning by looking at the words around it. Do the same with English. Okay? Okay, maksudnya kat sini, setiap kali awak tengok perkataan baru, awak tengok perkataan di sekeliling dia. And then, you're going to understand what is the meaning of the new words. Okay. Then, read the exam task below and underline the keywords. Look at the sentence below about the dogs. Read the text to decide if each Sentence is correct or incorrect. Right, true, T for true, and L for false. So I want you to identify all those 10 sentences, okay? And make sure that you find out in the article, okay? Whether the sentence is true or false. Okay, after you have finished the exercise D, Please continue to exercise E. Find the adjectives below in the text and match them with the meaning 1 to 6. The adjective here is dangerous, astonishing, lovely, strong, obedient, and beneficial. So I want you to match all those adjectives with the exact meaning from 1 to 6. Okay? And then, after you have finished A, B, C, D, E, okay, I want you to construct one sentence for each adjective. For example, one sentence for dangerous, one sentence for astonishing, one sentence for lovely, one sentence for strong, and one sentence for obedient and one sentence for beneficial. Okay, that's what our learning objective for today. Okay, so I hope all of you can complete the exercises before the next week. Okay, we will discuss the exercises in next week. So this lesson for today is to cover for another two classes that I can't attend this week. So I hope that this video will help you to understand the article better. Saya harap awak semua dapat buat latihan ini dengan tepat dan bagus. Saya minta maaf sebab saya tak dapat datang ke sekolah kerana saya dah kena kuarantinkan diri saya. Doakan saya. InsyaAllah. Okay. I'll see you on next week. Bye.